And this evening, I am sitting with an absolutely amazing financial advisor when it comes to property, as well as writer, author, Gavin Mkabele. Good evening, Gavin. How are you? Good evening, Anthony. Thank you so much for having me. I'm Thank good. You. That's good. I Thank <laughs> you for being here. Yes, um, And I love... I love the, the story and the conversations that we always bring to this platform. Mm. It's just a pity that we have most of the deep chats off camera. Yeah. But tonight is going to be a little bit different and I'd like to bring that to the screens of our people. And we talk about money management, mm. right? And you know, you within the financing field of managing property and managing your money when it comes to making these big investments. Yeah. And you, you obviously couldn't all your life, mm. money management was not what you could handle and what yes. you could do well. So on that note, I want to talk a little bit about, because, and I hate starting the show with the downfalls, mm. but you said you came to a point in your life where you lost everything. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about that journey. Yeah. So I think going back, um, so I was working for one of the major banks. Mm -hmm. um, so I started off in home loans, funny enough. <laughs> um, in the, <laughs> you know, so I started in the cancellations department. I went to credit. So I was that guy that mm. called you to say, hey, look, your, your house is about to go to the, uh, under the hammer, mm. so to speak. And the funny thing about it is that um, I used to get the repo list every week. Mm -hmm. and, but I didn't know about this property investment thing. And I used to like, guys, please stop giving me these things. Yeah. You know? um, but I didn't know. And at the time, the repo list had everything you need mm. as an investor. Mm. It had the account number. It had a name and say name of a client. Yeah. It had the outstanding bond amount, and back in the days, the banks will sell or will auction the house okay. for the outstanding amount, uh -huh. and it had an address and the telephone number. Mm -hmm. So it was easy for, I mean, to really get in there. But yeah, yeah so the, it, it started there, and then, um, but I got into, into financial difficulties. And my, fin my financial difficulties really started on when I actually went in and got a lease. Mm. agreement. Mm. I signed a lease agreement when I, I just started working. Right. Uh, lease agreement, um, my, it was a girlfriend mm. and um, she, she, could, she didn't earn enough. She didn't have a credit, a good credit profile. Yeah. Uh, I did, just got permanent staff member, yeah. bank, signed the contract. I didn't know about the lease agreement and you know things just went sour. She didn't mm. pay. I ended up now taking credit cards. I got into revolving loan mm. and that sort of snowballed. Um, and you can imagine when you're just starting to work and then yeah. all of a sudden you are now introduced to debt, but not good debt. Mm. And everything just spiraled. Thank you for watching. Subscribe. Click the like button. Thank you.